I want to thank my colleague from Montana. I think uh, one of the great things about New Mexico and Montana is we're both states that absolutely cherish the outdoors. And we have a lot of constituents who care about uh, the activities that generate so much income in the outdoors. Obviously, I hear from an enormous number of my constituents asking us to uh, reauthorize and permanently authorize the Land and Water Conservation Fund to fund the Land and Water Conservation Fund. And in fact, one of the um, uh, recently this letter, which was sent to me, but was also sent to the chair of our committee, the Energy and Natural Resources Committee, uh, to the chair and to the uh, ranking member, uh, the good senator uh, from Washington, was uh, signed by dozens of businesses saying, hey, this is important to our bottom line. Please extend the Land and Water Conservation Fund. Please continue to support this bipartisan legacy of standing up for our natural resources in, in this country. And my good friend from Montana mentioned the scale of what that means in his state, and it's not a dissimilar story in New Mexico. And in fact, uh, over $6 billion annually comes from outdoor recreation activities. Uh, 68,000 jobs in our state directly related to outdoor recreation. And in fact, when I go home, um, this weekend, we are going to be celebrating the uh, Valles Caldera National Preserve and its management by the National Park Service. That was a property that for decades my constituents could not access. They could not hunt, they could not fish, it was private property. And it was because of the Land and Water Conservation Fund that this place that had really been on the radar screen of the National Park Service since the early part of the last century, probably since the 1930s, could come into public ownership and be now one of the true gems in the entire nation of our public lands. Uh, we're going to be celebrating that with our constituents on Saturday. The Secretary of Interior is coming out. Literally 100,000 acres of some of the most spectacular high elevation grasslands and conifer forests and trout streams uh, and elk habitat that you've ever seen. And there are businesses that rely on that. You know, tourism is an enormous part of our economy in New Mexico. So this, this is something that has been absolutely crucial to our state's economy, and especially in the midst of the last uh, decade and the challenges that we've had economically.